Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Harvey did not know what to draw. He dangled his crayon above a blank sheet of paper. Just then his sister tiptoed down the hallway. What are you doing? asked Harvey. Tomorrow is Father's Day and I got dad his favorite present, said Laurie Ann. How do you know it is dad's favorite? asked Harvey. Follow me, whispered Laurie Ann. They could hear dad in the kitchen. He always cooks breakfast with the radio on. He'd crack eggs and hum a tune. He'd flip pancakes and crack up the volume. And when the bacon was crispy, his big boom booming voice would fill the house with a song. By the time breakfast was ready, it was either cover your ears or go and sit down and eat. Lori Ann pulled Harvey into their parents' closet. See, dad's favorite present, she said. I every year I give dad a tie and every year he says, a toy? How wonderful! I can always use another toy. Then he gives me a hug and says, thank you. And I say, you're, wel you're welcome. After breakfast, Harvey played tag with the dog until he tipped over a skateboard and cut his knee. Dad scooped him up and carried him inside. Might need to operate, muttered Dad as he handed Harvey a popsicle. Then as he cleaned the cut, Dad told such silly stories that Harvey forgot to cry. Harvey thought Dad might like a popsicle for a Father's Day gift, but figured it would melt if he wrapped one up. After lunch, Harvey wanted to ride his bicycle, but his tire was flat. His older brother, Martin, took him down to the basement to look for the pump. What are you getting dad for Father's Day? asked Harvey. The present that dad loves the best, answered Martin. Are you giving him a tie? Why would I give dad a tie? Follow me and I'll show you what dad likes the best, said Martin. Harvey followed his brother to the storage room. See the nails, said Martin. Dad loves nails. Every year I give him a box of nails. And every year he says, a box of nails. How special. I can always use a box of nails. Then he gives me a hug and says, thank you. And I say, you're welcome. Harvey could not fix his tire alone. Luckily, Dad woke up from his Saturday afternoon snooze when Harvey hollered, Dad! Did someone call for a bicycle repair? answered Dad. Harvey held the handlebars while Dad filled the tire with air. When Harvey pedaled away, Dad stayed and watched to make sure that the tire was that evening, Harvey thought about Father's Day again when he stepped out of the tub and Dad wrapped him in a big warm towel. Harvey went looking for his oldest sister, Nadine. She was in the family room dancing to the music. Harvey could not bear. Nadie! yelled Harvey. Nadie pulled off her headphones. What are you giving Dad for Father's Day? The present he likes the most, Nadi replied. Are you giving him a box of nails? Harvey replied. Why would I give him a box of nails? Said Nadi. Open the cabinet and I'll show you what dad likes the best. No. Harvey opened the family room cabinet. See, said Nadine. Dad looks forward to getting golf balls every year. Every year, I give him a box of golf balls. And every year, he says, Golf balls! How thoughtful! I can always use more golf balls. Then he gives me a hug and says, Thank you! And I reply, You're welcome! Harvey trudged up the stairs to bed. All the wonderful, special, thoughtful gifts were taken. What was left to make Dad say thank you? 
Who's interested in a bedtime story? asked Dad. Me, me, cried Harvey, diving into bed. When the story was over, Dad smiled and said, I love you. He kissed Harvey goodnight. Harvey sat in the bed. He was not thinking about Father's Day. He was thinking about his dad. Harvey crept out of bed, picked up a crayon and started to draw. On Father's Day, Laurie Ann handed Dad a gift-wrapped box. What could this be? asked Dad, opening his present. A tie! How wonderful! I can always use another tie. Then he gave Laurie Ann a hug and said, Thank you! You're welcome, she said. Martin gave Dad a box wrapped in newspaper. Dad shook the box and whispered, I wonder what's there in this box. He opened it. A box of nails? How special! I can always use another box of nails. Then he gave Martin a hug and said, Thank you. You're welcome, said Martin. Nadine gave Dad a bag tied up with bow. What could be in here? asked Dad as he untied the bow. Golf balls! How thoughtful! I, could, I can always use more golf balls. Then he gave Nadine a hug and said, Thank you. You're welcome, she replied. Everybody looked at Harvey. He pulled a piece of paper from behind his back. Harvey held out this picture and said, Thank you for being my dad. Dad gave Harvey a hug and then he said, You're welcome. May all you wonderful dads out there enjoy a happy Father's Day. Three cheers to all the fathers in our families. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Thanks for watching!